Hey guys, Jay here. Uh, just doing a little review on the 63 Corvette Stingray that I just picked up here. It's uh, released this month. It's a reissue kit from the old one, uh, three in one Corvette. You can build it um, stock, custom, or the drag version. I actually have like the I don't know if it's the original kit, but this one was the one that I got as uh, uh, off of. I bought this one off of eBay. This is like the it was built in or it, it was put out in 1989. And uh, when I first modeled as a kid, I had this kit, and I, I got it from somewhere and tried to build it, and I didn't. Uh, yeah, I didn't do very good at it. It fought me. Um, I ended up chucking most of it in the garbage. Um, all I had left pretty much when I opened up my Rubbermaid when I got back into the hobby was the body here and uh, it was painted, the paint was, the paint was cracked and orange peeled and just looked terrible. It was I threw it in the purple pond because I wanted to use the body as a practice body for painting and stuff so I cleaned it all up and now it's just a spare body that I use for practice painting but from the original kit I did when I was a kid this is all that's left so kind of feel like me and this kid have some history and I need to get revenge on it so that was why I picked this one up off of eBay when I first got back into modeling I went searching for it and uh, picked it up and then last month um, I seen that they re-released re it the retro um, what the heck does it say here on the box here this one's still in the cellophane uh, with the Retro Deluxe Edition Enhanced Reissued Features, uh, a new decal art, uh, all original parts, and vintage packaging. But they are right, and it's all original parts, like the, the mold. I, I looked at both of the kits today, and they are identical, uh, identical kits. As far as the trees have exactly the same part numbers, exactly the same parts and places, everything's identical. They, I, I swear they, they, well, uh, they use the same mold. I'm pretty sure. But, chrome tree. Nothing special going on there. You just got your different set of rims and your blower and your um, your bumpers and whatnot. Like I said, nothing out of the norm there. Uh, and this one, I think I actually have the chrome tree opener. It came opened. It was a used kit that I bought off of eBay, but I don't even see it any better out of the. But if you know it, like you notice, if I flip it over, so it's the same. They're identical. Like everything's sorry, not even in the frame, but everything's identical to the like same spots, same, same part numbers, everything. But uh, the body. One thing I I did find and I found when I did the review on the uh, 1940. Uh, Ford coupe there uh, the plastic on these new kits feels really flimsy like they it's like they're going thinner on them like they're not I'm not sure how they're made but it's almost like they're not pumping as much uh, plastic into the mold or much of the liquid styrene into the mold or something but it's got the round 2014 round 2 stuff on the uh, top of the roof here on the kit and if you flip it over you can see the writing through through the roof like you can't really see it on the camera but uh, I can see it there but you can actually see the black lettering through the roof to show you like that's how thin like and this is the other one I have <clears throat> and like it feels a lot thicker body like it just feels like a sturdier like there's more plastic in this so these ones just feel really thin but oh well um, the detail on this isn't the detail on this isn't great. If you're thinking of picking this up and like those like the seats are molded in, door panels are molded in, like the detail's not super great. I like my plan for this is I just want to build it the um, I think the drag version, and I might do one like stock, but. You're pretty much. I'm just gonna one tone the interior like a black or something on it because I don't want to be taping off the seats and the door panel. Like it's just too much. I don't know. I think they could have at least left the seats out and let you detail them. But 
the chassis too like everything's kind of molded into the chassis and your exhaust and all that too and that stuff but and then in your tree series you got your different motor options with it and your stock and your your drag and your, it comes with two so I think your drag and your custom are probably one and then your stock's the other one so you end up with a spare, a spare motor whichever way you end up going it's got a whole crap load of hoods here too you know you think they would give you one hood and then let you you cut the hole out for but no, AMT included three hoods in this kit. So, you got your stock, your custom, and your drag hood. So, and just the other little plastic part, or the other little like the gauges and stuff. And I'm surprised they didn't mold that into the interior as well. But, um, yeah. The differences between these two kits that I found that I wasn't impressed with that, um, was the drag tires here on this kit are a lot smaller they're like amt's re-release drag tires or something they're going with but then the older kit came with the big uh, big fat wide tires and they actually on the box here it shows that these ones kind of kind of stick out a little bit from the sidewall they give you like a sorry from another frame but they stick out of the they kind of stick all that which i thought was kind of neat right but so I'm guessing with the new release, with the uh, with the reissued kit, I'm guessing that if maybe they went that way so that tire the tires got more underneath or inside the the wheel well. But I just think if you're going drag version, I like the big tires on the back. But I don't know. We'll see what which way I might use these tires, these ones here. And see, like I said, I wasn't too impressed with that. The Stock tires though are a lot nicer tires that come with the new kit versus the old one. Like the new stock tires like a lot nicer tire, cleaner, softer rubber. The older kit, they are like kind of a skinny, skinny tire. Sorry if this, bring the light in here a little bit. Um, I don't know if that's any better. <laughs> uh, the skinnier tire, you know, they got a big flash going down the middle. I'm just dropping it, but yeah, so that's they give you better stock tires in the new kit, I guess. That's one way of compensating for the drag tires. But I was kind of looking forward to the drag tires, that's why I bought a couple kits. Because if anything, you can you know, you can use the tires for other, the big tires for other kits. So I was a little disappointed in that, but oh well, the glass is all molded as, as one piece, shove in there. Uh, the instructions. Just their retro style instructions. They uh, give you not much going on there. But, yeah. Fan P. And then the decals are a little different from the older kit, too. They seem to give you more decals on this, but give you more decals, but I don't know what. You're going for that look, I guess, but for kind of a you know bright look on it. But that's the the new decals I gave you. I don't think I'll use any of those, maybe except for the license plate. But um, the old ones, in the older kit, and they gave you this little decal uh, tree there. Or so <clears throat> I kind of like these ones better because it. Gives, you know, it says it's a 63, or it would be cool if they would have put Corvette 63 or 63 Corvette or something, but that's cool on that one. I, I don't know, whatever you guess, whatever bolts your boat on that. And then they give you on this release kit a little box so you can build yourself a, a box. I don't know how many guys want that sitting on their shelf, proving that they bought an AMT kit, right? <laughs> just, just kidding, but. But, you know, it, it is what it is, and I got the kit because I, I just, like I said, I had some history with it. Uh, I never finished it as a kid. It's re-released. I'm uh, 15 years later, I'm back modeling, and I want another shot at her. So I'll see if I can beat it this time, and I don't know when I'll get to this kit. Um, hopefully soon. Um, 
maybe after the Chevy Cheeseburger build, but we'll see what happens. Um, speaking of the Chevy Cheeseburger build, not much going on with that. I went to Camels this weekend to give my dad his car and uh, whatnot and a few other things, and it was a good trip down there. I went to a hobby shop, picked up a crap load of models, um, so that was fun. And then I came back, and those ones that I ordered came in, so wife wasn't too happy about spending a whole bunch of money on models, but oh well, you know, it's part of the fun, right? Uh, got some of these through VCG resins or the coilover, coilover uh, spring shocks. I'm going to add to the uh, build on the Chevy Cheeseburger, or try to. I've just been mocking stuff up on that the last couple days and trying to get them to fit in there and, and stuff. Uh, watching uh, Full Throttle Customs, Butch over there at Full Throttle Customs, if, watching his video on some of the stuff he does, just amazing stuff, so it's kind of inspired me to, you know, kind of go outside a little bit of my of my realm and see how I do anyways, and every build's a learning experience, so if you guys don't haven't seen Full Throttle Customs, which if you've subscribed to my channel, I'm sure you've seen his channel, but uh, go check him out anyways really amazing builder <clears throat> but anyways guys that's all I got I won't keep you too long anyways going on 12 minutes but I will uh, hopefully get some updates on the Chevy cheeseburger build this weekend and uh, yeah guys thanks for watching thanks for comments and all the subs I've been getting lately and talk to you guys later bye